yeah, my hair is starting to grow. It's thinning out so much in the front. Uh, but I, I'm using a, a hair thingy, um, the Hair Growth Company Co. Um, the And it seems to be helping it to fill out more, but I could still see like scalp here. So that's driving me nuts. My hair's just falling out and falling out and falling out. And I think why that happened was because the last time I bleached my hair, I left it in for at least an hour. Might have been more like an hour 15 minutes um and um i just really wanted the scalp to come out a you know a, a, a pale blonde and um my hair has just been falling out and falling out but it is growing and um yeah just been using gunmetal gray because in the front it's white and it uh, and it's not that I mind it, but it makes me look bald. <laughs> so I do that to, you know, give a little color to it so it doesn't look so bald. But yeah, just been, other than that, I have been uh, busy because, it, you know, after we took that little staycation and I, and I got that, um, that set that I have been looking for forever, um, uh, it's just been like just been trying to keep up with the house we had inspectors coming and since they forced us to take their internet um, and Xfinity cut me off because the landlord has Xfinity and I had to go by him we had to get the the box put into the wall um, and uh and then they, they found roaches uh, German roaches that's a horrible infestation uh, on the other side of the building and so we had to have the exterminators come so uh, between that and just I have to, so I have to keep up with the house so that was like they came to my apartment like four or five times in the past 30 days so I've been trying to keep up with the house um, you know going to appointments um, other than that I have just been crocheting a storm and I love it I'm just so happy because uh, when I when I heard when UTMB hurt my hand because she stabbed me <laughs> with the needle so hard that she messed up the nerve. I couldn't crochet for like two years. Um, and about two and a half, maybe three years later, I, I, I just was training my hand. I was going really, really slow. It was My hand was hurting. But it took about two and a half years for it to heal about 90%. And it still got like five, 10%. Um, you know issues um nerve issues and and you know weakness and whatnot but um it was my left hand so i use my uh my right i just hold everything in this hand but yeah um that's what i um just been crocheting 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 i finished a couple of projects and um working I work on like uh, two to three projects at a time I get tired of doing one I work on another so yeah um I did a lot of like research uh, on YouTube and stuff and found out that putting garlic on your nails may helps them to grow strong uh, and for the most part at first they weren't breaking but sometimes if I play with them, like I see them dirty, and then you put a, the thumbnail into a smaller nail, it'll crack. Um, sometimes you might bang your finger into the wall. Most times that doesn't do nothing, but sometimes it'll, um, you know, crack it. And, you know, found out that the ASP uh, gels are no good for me. Um, I use a, I have to use, um, is it again pure acetone like I'll take off my nail polish with uh, with a acetone type of nail polish remover because I do use glitters and shimmers and stuff like that um, and then I will just go over it real quick with acetone if I need to fix a, a, a crack um, I just what I found out is that I just a, a wrap with glue um, the only one that didn't work on was my middle finger. Um, it had cracked all the way over, almost to the other side. I had to use dip powder for that. Uh, and when it finally came off, the 
I didn't really see much damage to the nails, so I've just been cutting them down because they get too long and they start to hurt because they hit things. But yeah, just I just been enjoying life <laughs> with my crocheting and uh, you know just um, just feeling good about my life these past couple of months. Um, uh, I've been on a new uh, diabetes med for the past like year and a half and I've dropped about 40 pounds with this medication. Um, so it's, you know, it's slow going. It, it also it helps to curb the appetite. It's an injection. But, um, hi babe. But, um, yeah, it's been uh, helping me to lose weight. And, uh, you know, my arthritis is terrible, but... I just sit and I, I crochet and enjoy my, after I do what I need to do, make my phone calls or go to appointments or whatever, clean, um, cook dinner, and then I just crochet from about anywhere between like maybe three and five till I go to bed, like uh, anywhere between like 11, 30, 12. So, yeah, I've just been, you know, just been feeling really good. Uh, doing that <laughs> so um, yeah um, so yeah so that's all that's been going on with me um, I will s see you guys uh, when I next have a chance I know I can't go back to once a week my, my body just can't take it anymore my uh, I mean look what happened with the light when I was trying to do my makeup it was so dark um, I need a new light. My camera broke down, but I, all I had to do was reset it and it started working again. Um, so, you know, my like I said, my editing program on the new iMovie sucks big time. So, really don't think that I'll be doing movies once a week again. But I hope to do at least once a month. Um, anyway, so that was Scooby-Doo, still available at... Uh, Amazon, the entire collection, should be the entire collection, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know the box is the, the mystery van is, so, Mr. Machine. So, yeah, see you guys hopefully soon. Mwah. Bye.